welcome to another edition of the Bears Report. I'm Emory Moorhead, your host. Today we're going to look at some exciting highlights, a very gruesome and physical game up in Green Bay against the Packers. The Bears, as you know, won it 16 to 10. We have Mike Dicka. He'll comment on the game and some of the things that happened up there. Our special guest in the studio today is none other than William Perry, the refrigerator. But first, we're going to look at the highlights of the Green Bay game, so let's roll the videotape. Hi, and welcome back. We're here with William Perry, the number one draft choice out of Clemson, the defensive tackle turned fullback for the Chicago Bears. Welcome to our show, William. And first of all, uh, a lot of people here in Chicago were very surprised when the Bears came. You the people in South Carolina and North Carolina, you are a legend down there. Uh, were you surprised by being drafted by the Bears so early? Well, uh, the Bears had uh, called me early, you know, during the weekend, Marie, and, uh, you know, I was just, I was just uh, waiting for the, the draft and uh, see what uh, was, you know, what, who was going to draft me and then win. But uh, then, you know, they called back. Uh, on draft day, they called two or three times, and you know I didn't know I was going to get drafted the first round or second. But then they called back the fourth time, and then they said, "Congratulations, William! You just has been show chosen as a Chicago Bear." And I, you know, I was overwhelmed about it. Well, were you kind of shocked at that point? Uh, here you were, uh, you know, it's a big, big opportunity being a number one draft choice and being drafted by the number one defense in the league. Uh, it had to be a, sort of, a, you know, a, exciting. Uh, Although you knew that the team was number one on defense, did you think you had a spot there? Oh, yes. It was exciting when I got drafted here because I knew the Chicago Bears was the number one defense in the you know, in National Football League. And the only thing I could say, I just, just wanted to come in and contribute you know, to, the, de mm -hmm. to the defense and uh, whatever I could do. You know, I, was, you know, I was coming in playing behind Dan Hampton and Steve McMichael, and I knew I, won't, I wasn't going to get all that much playing time. But uh, I just wanted just to come in and contribute uh, to the team in, in any way, shape, or form. Well, now, when you were drafted, you were a late signing. Also, your agent, the same agent that uh, Steve and Michael and Dan Hampton had, which had to help you knowing exactly uh, your bargaining position. But you were a late signing in camp. Do you think that hindered your progress early in the year? Well, I think it, uh, it, it hindered my learning, uh, learning, the, learning the, the defense right off the, the bat with the uh, you know, Buddy Ryan and, and other players because you know they was in here learning and I was just sitting out of you know off a contract dispute so you know I just I was just just, just sitting back just waiting to see what's going to happen but overall I, you know it, it hindered my uh, learning my uh, plays and everything. Well now you've you've got involved a little bit more now in that contract dispute uh, the big thing was the weight classes. Are you satisfied now with the weight classes? It doesn't seem to hurt you at all now. Uh, you've been making your weight uh, lately. Yes, uh, you know it's no problem. You know it's no problem now. Everything is going well now. They they uh, they have to just they, they cut the weight weight uh, thing out because they I'm, I'm just weighing in at a certain weight. You know right now, so everything is is, is going normal now. Okay, now let's talk. You had a little special diet up in training camp. I noticed you you couldn't eat as much as everybody, and uh, you seemed it didn't really bother you. But now that you're out of training camp. And I know recently you've been in a hotel. It must be a little bit tougher for you to control your weight, seeing how you have to eat out all the time. Uh, do you have any problems uh, with your diet now? Oh, no, it's no problem right, right now because I had uh, Tyrone Keys, you know, got me into the, the spas. And uh, we was working out uh, twice a week in the spas, you know, running and lifting weights and uh, getting in the steam. So it was no problem while I was standing in the hotel. Everything just went well. And my, my weight kept going down. And I, just, you know, I just thank Tyrone for that. You did this after practice, every day after practice, twice a week? Yes. yes. Well, that's, a, that's a, quite a lot of dedication. Okay, now let's talk about it. You've been drafted to play on defense, and last week you had your first start on defense. Uh, how do you evaluate your performance defensively? Well, I think my, my performance was, uh, it, w it was fine. I played, I played well in, uh, in spots, you know, like I was supposed to. But overall, I think, you know, I had a, I had, you know, I had a you know, fine game. You know, as my starting with uh, with the other guys out there because uh, you know you have to get experience in uh, out there with the other guys. You know, to learn what they do and what kind of stunts to run. You know, and the blitzes and stuff, so you, you can time everything all right. But I think you know, I you know, I play fine. You also got your first sack two weeks ago. Uh, that had to be quite a thrill. Also, you beat the man very cleanly. Oh yes, that was a big thrill. You know, for me, uh, this is uh, is that it was up in, uh, uh, right here in Chicago. And uh, you know, it's my first sack of you know of the season, and just got me rolling. So now I'm just 
I'm just looking on down the road and just try to get you know many as I can for the season to get out. Okay, let's talk about the Green Bay game. Evaluate this game for us uh, defensively. It was a quite a physical game on um, both sides of the ball, but how do you feel that uh, the defense did against Green Bay's offense, with the exception of the one big play? I mean, that. Other well, than that. well, overall, the first half, you know, we played them, we played them down to the wire, you know, on the run and in the pass. We we gave them a real, a real tough uh, game in the first half because they didn't get, hardly get no yardage, or, you know, nothing really. You know, it's just a little, you know, a little cheap thing, you know, cheap, you know, nine then, a little, you know, a little pass outs and stuff like that. But we didn't really give up nothing big. But the second half, you know, we just, we came out and they just, you know, they ran the ball, you know, a whole lot on us. And they got, you know, they got more yards in the second half than the first half. So I think overall as a defense unit, you know, we played fine. Okay, now the game was very physical. Uh, did you experience any uh, cheap shots out there yourself or witness anything? Yeah, you know, I witnessed a whole lot of cheap shots, and uh, you know, the guys told me before I went up there, you know, just expect, expect anything. So you know, I I, had, I got to learn a little bit of cheap cheap shots, you know, on me. <laughs> but you know, I just I got up and laughed because it was just it was it was all fun and games, you know. As long as you didn't get hurt out there, it was just it was just it was just fun. Okay, now you've played the Packers twice. What is your opinion of the Bears Packers rivalry, which dates back uh, back to the 1920s? Well, it's it's a bigger rivalry. Uh, it, it's just like anything goes. You, you just you just gotta <laughs> you just gotta be ready for anything at any time. So, and now I know uh, next year when next year come around, I'll be I'll be up for the, uh, the Packers game uh, both times. Uh huh. Okay. Now you played nine games here in the regular season, four in the preseason. What's your opinion of the talent and the uh, level of competition here in the NFL as a whole well, compared to college? What I do with the talent is, you know, it's like this, you know, you, you play them against the guys, uh, you know, 8, 10, you know, 12 years, you know, they're vets, you know, in college, you just play up against a guy, maybe play two, three years or four at the most. And uh, it's just, you know, it's no, it's no competition from college to, to pro because they're, it's more complicated up, up here, you know, and, and playing uh, you know, against uh, you know, another opponent because he's been up here so long, you know, and he, he knows every trick in the book, so you just got to be, uh, you just got to be ready to play. Now we hear a lot about the 46 defense being very difficult and very hard to grasp. Uh, there's never been a rookie that has started for Buddy Ryan uh, that I can remember right off, you know, even in, within his first year. Uh, how, do you, how tough is it as a, for a defensive lineman to break into the 46? Is it, much, is it easier or, a le or more difficult than, say, a linebacker or a defensive back? Well, whereas a lineman, lineman, you know, got so many stunts and you you have to learn what to, what to do each and every time. You know, it's, it's very difficult, you know, just, just to come in and uh, start. But uh, on, down, on down in the season, you know, and you learning your plays and you learning what to do and where, and where to go, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, you, you, you can break the line up. And uh, it's just, it's, it's, it is a very complicated defense. Okay, now as tough as it is on defense, I know offensively that the offense is very complicated. Now, for you, a rookie trying to learn on defense, all of a sudden, you're put on offense. And Mike has you playing some plays at fullback, some plays at halfback. He's got you going in motion. Doesn't all this stuff get confusing at times? No, it's, it doesn't get, get confusing at all. You know, you have, you have nice guys like you, Emory, and uh, Walter Payton, and uh, Jim McMahon now back there you know, helping you, you know, each and every time you line up on the goal line, and they tell you, you know, what to do. You know, it's no problem. You just go out and they tell you who to block, and I just, I just search up my man. I just block him. Now I want you to describe the second TD you had, the pass reception. The crowd was very loud up in Green Bay. The uh, game was stopped several times, uh, waiting for that play to go off. Uh, you had to be a little nervous, but I was the opposite of you on the right side, and I noticed that the uh, outside linebacker and the defensive back kept saying they're going to bring Perry over and he's going to block you. Just, to block you, and then all of a sudden you you slip through there. Describe that play for us. Well, it was a it was a play that I, that I lined up outside the tight end, and uh, Jim Jim set me in motion. And it happened I just I uh, went through you, uh, went slide by slid, slid by you, and uh, and just went in the flats. And I just, and I looked looked back quick, and the ball was coming. And Jim had threw the ball right then. So, you know, it was just it was it was a great play. You know that uh, Dicker had called on the sideline. Okay, now, does it, is it kind of strange for you? When's the last time you played offense? 
in high school? Did you ever play offense? Yes, I played a little bit, in, little bit in high school. Doesn't it feel strange lining up in a strange position, going in motion when you're usually a defensive lineman? Do you feel a little out of place? Or? Well, you know, I don't, I don't feel out of place, out of place at all because uh, you know, I, you know, I just like helping the team any way, you know, any way I can. You know, just like I when I came in in here in Chicago, uh, I, I told Coach Dickens, you know, I know I'm playing behind two All Pros. Uh, if any way, you know, any way else I can help you uh, to win, uh, just, you know, just just utilize me, and I just I do what I you know do what I'm told. Okay, now you've you've seen it got a lot more success, probably from offense more than defense. So much has come from you scoring touchdown and lead blocking the both against the Packers. Uh, you've got a fan club now. All this notoriety and everything is it beginning to invade on your privacy? No, it's, it's only, it don't invade on my privacy because uh, I have to la I have to have to last say so about uh, anything. So, you know, when it when it gets like that, you know, I just have to tell the people. It's just uh, I need some I need some uh, uh, time with my family, and uh, you just have to you know ca call me back later, you know, something like that. But you know, it's, it's it don't bother me at all. What does your wife think about all this? Oh, she loves it. She, she loves it. Yeah, she has she has fun with a little girl that. The girl have fun. They, it, they, it, it's just all, uh, it's just all funny, you know, fun to them because at Clemson it was the same thing, you it's know, the same thing, it was yeah. the same thing. So it's, it's, it's no different. So it's just, it's just, it's just, a, just a whole lot of fun right now. What about your family back in uh, South Carolina? What do they think about all this? They ever expect all this? No, I don't think they, you know, they expect all this, you know, right so, you know, right soon like, like this. I think it was just something that just came overnight, and uh, you know, they love it. They love it. You know, I got eight brothers and four sisters back down there, and mm -hmm. they just they just love you know for, you know what what I'm doing. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to be right back with William Perry. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about his notoriety, a little bit more about the Lions. But first, let's take a commercial break. Hi, right, and welcome back to the Bears Report, William. I'd like to ask you one question before we get into the Lions. All this notoriety that's happened to you. Uh, what are some of the opportunities that have come up uh, over the last two or three weeks? Well, uh, it's several things, you know, Steiner, you know, I deferred all my phone calls to uh, Jim and I. That's your, your lawyer? As my, yes, and my agent, and I, he's, you know, he said uh, Coca-Cola, uh, you know, McDonald's and GE and, um, you know, man, it's, it's different things, you know, came in for me. I mean, you know, I just got to sit back and uh, wait and, s and see what kind of offer they're going to they come up with. You also have a few uh, television shows uh, people have been calling you for? Yes, I do the David Letterman, David Letterman next week and uh, maybe uh, Johnny Carson. You know, I've, we're not, we have we set a date up on that. Okay, well, now let's talk a little bit about the Lions. The Lions are, I think, five and four at this time. Uh, they're a very good football team. Uh, I've always been a nemesis in the Bears side, especially when they're doing good. Last year, the Bears beat them twice. Uh, this year, they've, they're playing very good football. They've beaten the world champion 49ers. They've beaten the Miami Dolphins. They've beaten the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they're somewhat of some giant killers. Uh, they could come in Chicago really fired up this week. Oh, yes. You know they're going to come in uh, Chicago fired up. Uh, they, they, you know, they, you know, they can win up here, and they're going to it's gonna be just like it's gonna be just like a typical Green Bay game, I think, because they're gonna come in ready to play, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have, we're gonna have to be ready to play too. And, you know, we got we at home, and I you know I know you know all the guys are gonna be ready to play because uh, if we can uh, wrap wrap this game, I think we you know we can go ahead and wrap the whole thing up. This is a, this is a very important game for the Lions, also a very important game for the Bears uh, as far as uh, playoffs. So if they win this game, we'll be seven and zero in one more division game, and what we. Uh, you know, trying to do is obviously uh, wrap up the division and beat all the division opponents. So this game becomes very important to you and your teammates. Oh yes, it's, it's very important, you know, to us, you know, to uh, to win this game here, so we can uh, so we can wrap it up and uh, and I uh, look forward, you know, to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this uh, is it possible for the Bears? Uh, we've won nine in a row. Uh, so pressures builds every week. Everybody wants to beat you. Every team is, wants to be the one to defeat the undefeated team. Is it possible for the Bears to keep and maintain this pace uh, all the way through the regular season and then three more games into the Super Bowl? Yes, I think we, you know, we can. If we just take you know one game at a time and uh, have our mind you know set on them, 
and have you know be, be mentally you know physically you know I know we're ready to, you know to play. Just get our mind uh, mentally ready to, you know to play uh, play Detroit and then on down the road take take them one at a time. I, you know I ain't, ain't no doubt in, uh, in my mind that we you know we can take them all. This team has been noted for saying uh, taking these games one at a time and. Surely it seems like we are taking the games uh, one at a time and uh, respecting each opponent for what they are and then going out and doing the job. Uh, the schedule, though, gets mighty tough down the line here after the Lions. We've got the Lions. We're going down to Dallas. What's your opinion of that Dallas? Do you have any memories of that first Dallas game? Oh, yes. Uh, we, you know, we, played a, we played a great game down there on, 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 on Monday night. Uh, you know, we could have pulled it out and everything. Or we could have won. But I think uh, Coach Dicker want to wait to the wait to the season, you know, come around and we play them down there for real. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think every, everything will be uh, it, it'll be wide open down there. Uh, we, we may go down to Dallas again. Could be reminiscent of this Packer game, possibly. Oh, I know it will. <laughs> it's gonna be a great one. <laughs> okay, we'd like to thank William Perry for coming by. Uh, we'd like you all to write and uh, send your comments to us. We have a viewer mail segment, and if you could send those comments to 1600 Old Skokie Road. And that will be in Highland Park, and the zip there is 60035. And send those uh, in care of the Bear Report. Also, I'd like to remind you that next week we have another special guest. Uh, Dennis McKinnon will be our special guest here. Okay, we'd like to thank William Perry for coming by. And for our special guest, he will receive a dinner for two at the Nightingale in Highwood. And also, uh, if you'd like to participate in some way by writing and sending your comments to Capital Cities Cable and care of the Bears Report, uh, you can send those letters addressed to uh, 1600 Old Skokie Road in Highland Park, and the zip is 60035. So we'd like to thank you, William, for coming by once again. Next week, our special guest will be Dennis McKinnon, the wide receiver of the Bears, who already has seven touchdowns. So once again, tune in next week to the same time, same station. This is Emory Moorhead for William Perry saying good night.